Olympic medalist Michaela Maroney is suing USA Gymnastics. She says the organization tried to cover up her allegations of sexual abuse against former team doctor Larry Nasser. In a settlement nearly a year ago, Maroney received one and a quarter million dollars and signed a non-disclosure agreement. Dr. John LaPook has more on this. Michaela Maroney's lawyer is accusing USA Gymnastics of covering up her sexual abuse by having her sign a non-disclosure agreement. Maroney first revealed the abuse in a Twitter post two months ago, writing that Nasser's abuse started when I was 13 years old and didn't end until I left the sport. John Manley represents more than 100 girls and young women, including Maroney, alleging sexual abuse by Larry Nasser. Of course it's a cover-up. I mean, if you're not trying to cover it up, why are you asking her to be quiet? Manley says USA Gymnastics took advantage of Maroney's fragile psychological state. They wanted to keep their dirty laundry quiet, and they were willing to sacrifice Michaela's health and well-being and voice to do that. And that's just wrong. At the 2012 London Olympics, Maroney was part of the powerhouse American women's gymnastics team known as the Fierce Five. Just last month, her former teammate, Olympic gold medalist Allie Raceman, told 60 Minutes about her abuse at the hands of Nasser. What did USA Gymnastics do and Larry Nasser do to manipulate these girls so much that they are so afraid to speak up? Late today, USA Gymnastics put out a statement saying that both sides had agreed to the settlement and confidentiality deal and that they were initiated by Maroney's attorney, not by USA Gymnastics. Jeff? Dr. LePou continues his reporting on this. Thank you.